My laboratory is interested in how the auditory organ within our inner ear develops. In particular, we are investigating the molecular and cellular mechanisms that guide the development of hair cells, which are our sensory receptor cells within the inner ear. Hair cells are essential for our ability to hear, and they're unfortunately only produced once during our lifetime, and their loss is permanent. And hearing, hearing loss is by a large part caused by the death of hair cells. We hope to use the information gained from how hair cells form during development to restore hair cells in adult animals. One of the strategies we try to pursue is to reprogram existing cells to become hair cell progenitors. In particular, we target the support cells. Support cells are uh, specialized cells that surround the hair cells. And in young animals, before they start hearing, these supporting cells have some capacity to regenerate hair cells. However, once the animal is mature and starts hearing, these support cells lose that capacity. In a study, which was in large part funded by the David M. Rubenstein Hearing Research Center, we recently discovered that the developmental decline in regenerative capacity can be reversed by re-expression of a progenitor-specific gene called LIN20B. We found that LIN20B expression in supporting cells restored their ability to regenerate hair cells and reversed such developmental decline. Furthermore, we found that loss of LIN20B accelerated the developmental decline of regenerative capacity and rendered supporting cells that otherwise would be able to make new hair cells incapable of doing so. Future studies will uh, investigate if supporting cells in adult animals can be reprogrammed into hair cell progenitors. We will use different strategies, including gene therapy, where we reintroduce genes into adult supporting cells. To do so, we will uh, collaborate with our colleagues here at the David M. Rubenstein Hearing Research Center. And we hope that these studies will show that indeed supporting cells can be reprogrammed into hair cell progenitors. And indeed, we can restore hair cells using this strategy. We hope that by reactivating hair cell progenitor specific gene programs in supporting cells, we can reprogram to become better hair cell progenitors and reprogram these supporting cells to regenerate hair cells under condition similar to hair cell loss in adult animals or in humans. <laughs>